So before you think this is me signing out of YouTube and saying thank you for all the memories, it is not. But it's sort of similar, kind of, but it's, it's just not me resigning. I'm not gonna do that. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about gratitude. Um, something I've recently discovered that I, I feel like I don't, haven't really pointed out too much because uh, today I was thinking at work, I was at work uh, earlier today and just the whole time I, I kept thinking about man, all this stuff that I've had these past few years with uh, with my YouTube channel, I, I, I know, it's been horrible <laughs> it's been so much up and down and the the the, the upload schedule just just doesn't exist. The upload schedule is up down and nowhere else to be found. So, uh, I, I mean, I'm trying to still work around it. It's just this is I don't know. I felt like wearing a hat today. Deal with it, okay? But yeah, uh, yesterday I was in South Speed's uh, reunion stream, and just something about it. After I left it, I just. I had such a nice sleep, I can't explain it, and waking up and going to work uh, yeah, today was actually kind of wholesome. I mean, I had this feeling going through me all the time, how when I when I first started as a brony, I, w I want to call myself a brony, but it still feels weird. When I started as a fan of this show, when I started watching it, um, you know, I never expected it to be much. I just, I just figured, hey, I'm gonna watch a, a, a cartoon, and maybe some people will like me watching it. And you know, as soon as I realized a lot of people were interested in my stuff, I, I started just, you know, living the dream, as you would say. My dream is always to be rec to be recognized. My dream is always to be able to put myself out there without being you know, embarrassed about it and shy. I've always been the kind of shy guy you would see in the back of the classroom with his little lunchbox that he, his mom packed for him and all that. Um, I've always kind of been that guy. And if it wasn't for this, I don't think I would have ever come out of that show. I mean, maybe there would have popped up some other opportunity along the way that would have helped me, but I mean, you never know. And this is what I got, and I'm really grateful for it. My gratitude towards it, just, I can't explain it, because a lot of you have told me that I've helped you with your, um, you know, I've gotten a lot of messages from people saying that I've saved them, that they, they got through their hard, their hard times because of me, because of my, uh, my videos and my, my good moods and just generally me being there for them which isn't really the point of the video but you know it's it's still cute it's sentimental and I love it and being able to read those messages you don't know how it feels unless you've been there yourself it's, it's just really the most wonderful feeling and I, I just cannot explain it because it's like you feel like you've saved someone but know that all of that came from you you managed to help yourself because of what i managed to do for you but it was all you it all came from you and as same as everything came from me i managed to come out of my shell because i put myself out there and i wouldn't have done it without the help of some of my friends and <laughs> it kind of feels like i'm just resigning a page off of the script of, of an episode at this point but you know, isn't that what they try to teach us? How this is how you're supposed to like be able to come out of your shell and make friends and be yourself, the one that you truly want to be? I I managed to find myself in all this, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without this community, which I'm super thankful for. I couldn't be happier about it. I mean, there's been a lot of ups and downs, I know. I've had a lot of fights with the friends that I made along the way, I know. It all happens. It happens with life. You fight with your friends, you uh, you mess up sometimes, but you always get back up. I mean, at least I have always gotten back up because I realized there was more to, to life than just moping, I guess. And at some point it just clicked in me that I wanted to do more than just mope. And, you know, as far as all those messages go from people telling me that I've saved them and I've, I've helped them through tough times. Um, you've helped me a lot too. 
you know, as just, yes, you there, <laughs> lady or boy. Um, you helped me. Without your support, I would have never been, ugh, never been able to get through the hard times that I've been through personally. And, uh, yeah, just, just, just the amount of support from my fans and from my subscribers have been just out of this world. I couldn't be more grateful for a better community than this. And, uh, you know, this whole thing, like, and My Little Pony, the Brony community, everything, it, it's given me so much to be grateful for. It's given me lasting friendships that I will have probably throughout the rest of my life. I would never even thought of, because when I started this, I was alone, I had nobody. I just lost everyone I, you know, I didn't lose anyone technically, but I, I, I locked myself so deep in my shell that just, there just wasn't any way out. I was like a, like a baby larva going in the shell, except it was like the reverse of it. But uh, eventually I sprouted out as a butterfly and I, yeah, I, I really couldn't have done it without the help of my friends. And I, I love my friends. I love them. I care for them so much. Uh, and I've never been really the most, um, like, I love you kind of p person towards my friends because I, I just wasn't raised to do that kind of stuff. So it's just kind of developed on its own. But yeah, uh, the friendships I made along the way are, I will appreciate them for the rest of my life. I love my friends. I absolutely, I care about them so much. Uh, Sir Frog, Luffy, Kyle the Pale, Tommy Catacombs. Another thing that I wanted to talk about too was when I joined Soundspeed's stream yesterday and I realized all these people that I used to look up to, I'm I'm there. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Where am I? Is, is this real? I mean, I didn't even realize that at the time, but like, when I first started YouTube and I realized there were like, higher ups, as you would say. Because I, when I first started, people like directed me to these channels like Soundspeed, Cobalt Sky, uh, Luffy is Cool. And I looked at them and I was like, man, these people are awesome. And now I'm best friends with Luffy is Cool right now. <laughs> I mean, I've been to his house. We, we spent like a week together and, or two weeks, I don't know. But yeah, it, it's, just, it's just crazy to think about that when, at some point I looked up to these guys. And now I feel like I'm somewhat on the same page as them. And it's just, I know it's kind of selfish to talk about, but it's just, it's just such a nice feeling to, to reach that goal that you think that you need to reach. But not that I, I didn't, I found myself not really thinking that when I joined yesterday. I found myself thinking that these people are such cool guys and I, I love to spend time with them. They're so down to earth, and when you when you when you create this character for yourself, you see them as like these gods, like they don't have time for you. Like, how could they ever possibly have time to talk to someone like me? But then you realize you just hop on a call with them, and they're just such chill dudes, you know. And uh, it really it really <laughs> gave me a heartwarming moment to think about. And so I just wanted to reach out today and just talk about the the amount of gratitude I feel towards everything that's happened to me for the past few years. I'm really grateful. And all of my friends, thank you sincerely so much. You know where to where to go to contact me. If you ever want to talk, just to appreciate your love for me and uh, just know that I will always be grateful for the friendships that you kept. I'm getting teary out here, man. <sighs> yeah. Uh, that, that's where you know. <laughs> But yeah, seriously, thank you. And all of my subscribers as well. And uh, big shout out to all of you. This has uh, been Ladix. <sighs> what a day. <laughs> I will be back at some point. I'll, I'll, I'll try and make a consistent upload schedule. We will see about that. But for now, thank you so much for listening. I love you. Stay true to yourself. Don't lose hope. And uh, take it easy.